Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. Yeah. Yesterday was Wednesday. So if yesterday was Wednesday, then today is what? If yesterday was Wednesday, then today is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So if yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be Friday, yay! Which means it's almost a weekend. Now, if you've been watching meetings this week, you'll know that I've said that there will be no videos on Friday or Zoom call um, because it's in-service day, so Ms. Jessica has to sit in a training. And so um, if this was a normal school year uh, where we would be on campus, then you would have had Friday off anyways. Yeah. Okay, so that means that your weekend starts today. Yeah, so you get a three-day weekend. Okay, so today is Thursday. The month is September. What number? When there's a two and a four next to each other in this order, that makes the number 24 or 24th, 24th. So today is Thursday, September 24th, and the year is 2020. We're almost all done with September, October starts one week from today. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. What season are we in? See, it's already up on the board for you. Because <laughs> I still haven't brought my, my thing from the classroom. It's fall. Yeah, I think we're on like, what, the third day of fall? Yeah. So fall goes through September, and then October, November, and most of December. Yeah. Okay. What is the weather like outside today? I can look outside my windows. Sometimes I forget what I should be doing when I ask you that question. <laughs> I can look outside my windows, you can look outside your windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to see outside your windows. Miss Jessica has the luxury of being able to sit and look both ways. And when I look outside my windows, I see that it's sunny outside today. The smoke has gotten better, which is great. Um, it's sunny, it's gonna be a little warm. Not too hot. It's actually starting to cool down, which is nice. I think it's going to be 85 degrees. That's what I read. Cool. Okay. Let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. We need to be respectful of all people. And that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, choices, abilities, um, personal space, personal property, um, everything. We should be respecting all people and all aspects of all people. One great way to show respect is to keep hands, feet, and objects to ourselves. We need to be safe with our body and with the objects around us, even if we're angry. Now we need to make good choices. 
follow the directions of all your teachers. Remember, this can be a challenge right now because you're not working with your teachers and your staff regularly. But there's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to be appropriate with our language and with our tone of voice. Even if we're angry, people aren't gonna to wanna to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. So we need to make good choices. Always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day um, and our best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation and that's okay. It's okay if our best looks different than somebody else's best. Yeah, not everybody's gonna be the same. We all have different abilities. We all have different things that we're good at and that's okay that we're different. Um, but as long as you are trying your best, as long as you're trying, that's all anybody can ever ask. All right, how are we feeling today? Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hot? Are you confused? Are you sick? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you frustrated or are you thirsty? How are you feeling today? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling that's not listed, you can use your words and tell somebody that as well. Good job. All right, so I think these go hand in hand. I've been having headaches this week. I think maybe I'm not drinking enough water or getting enough rest. Um, I'm also a little tired. Yeah. Um, still drinking my coffee, but I haven't had any this morning. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a broken record because I say the same things every day. I'm a little sad. Yeah, I'm a little sad because I miss all of you so very, very much. Um, you know, we've got some celebrations that yet again we're missing and that's really hard. It's hard for me to, um, not be around you when we should be celebrating fun things. But even though I've been having headaches lately and I'm tired and I'm sad because I miss you all, when I think about all of you, home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we will be back together and we're gonna celebrate just in the biggest way possible, we'll have so much fun and we will be reunited. That makes me really, really happy. Thinking about all of you and our future, um, about our future being back together, hopefully, that makes me happy. Thinking about all of you makes me happy. Yeah. All right. So, meeting is all done. I'm gonna do a reading video. Uh, again, I've been working on some stuff to hopefully send home to you and, you know, more videos eventually. Um, and we do have our daily Zoom calls. I love when I get to see your faces on those calls. Please join us if you are able. If you're, if you're unable, that's okay. It's okay. Just know that I miss you. Okay. Well, I hope you have a good day day today friends a beautiful three day weekend remember because there will be no videos and no zoom tomorrow and I will see you in my videos and hopefully on zoom on Monday all right bye friends